So guys, I am back with another Diablo 4 solo XP and loot farm. You don't want to miss this. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so today guys, we're going to check out the Haunted Refuge located right here on the map. Now this is a farm I posted pre-nerf uh, about probably about a week or so ago. Um, was a great, great spot then. But I've heard now it's still... Just as, well, not just as good, but it's still real good for XP. Now, the videos I have been seeing people uh, are doing this in a group, but I'm here for the solo players. We need to know what this is like solo. Now, when I first did this, I remember the first part, you mainly uh, return stone carvings to the pedestals, get past this, run past the enemies, do this. Now, only stop if there's a few elites or an event, but you want to get to that second area. The second area is where this is at. Now, I will say, guys, I respect it at 63, my Necromancer at the minute isn't perfect. I'm still trying to apply a few aspects I've got to it. But hey, it is what it is now. I've, like I said, I've created this build hoping for something better. I was using the minions and to me, they're just not good enough. The minions for me just ain't good enough. I need something that does way more damage. Now, all, now I'll show you what this, this build is. Now, obviously, this isn't a part of how you run this dungeon efficiently. But this is how this build works. So it's all about combos. And once buffs start to apply and stack, it's utterly brutal. But yeah, as you can see right there, it's, it's more about those uh, multitude of adds, well, gathered together. Single target damage isn't great, but that's what I'm working on. I've got a few aspects, like I said, to apply. And once I apply them, it's going to be utterly brutal, people. It really is. I've also got a couple of safety nets on this build too, which I needed because for me, my Necromancer is just getting slapped all over the place. It's probably because I've, I've spec so much into damage output, which is obviously what we want. But yeah, it's what we want. But uh, as long as I can survive in those harder dungeons, which I can. I did the Capstone dungeon yesterday, the level 70 version, and I ran through the entire thing, five levels below it. I didn't get touched once but when i got to that boss guys i got slapped as you can probably tell by my armor my armor is just on the verge of breaking <laughs> yeah so okay now i need one more stone card and i'm guessing it's going to be down this way there it is right there am i going to be able to grab this no i'm not so i'm going to have to kill all these ads which is fair enough Combo breaker to slap everything up. Slap everything up. My corpse explosion, I've got so much that just makes it so OP. But it's all about just stringing together a combo. And once I get that combo, that was literally half of the combo. But once I get that combo together, it's brutal. I also use my blood mist as well. And then it makes corpse explosions and then it spawns more corpses. And it makes you like invincible. That gets me out of so much trouble. Which is what I need. What I need. It's one of the few safety nets I have. In, in regards to being squishy. Okay, so now we're going to do this medium uh, middle event. Which I don't mind. Some of these events can be piss poor. Some of them are not bad. This is one of the... I think it's one of the slow ones, to be honest. I'm just going to stand here and spam stuff. Let's get this out of the way. There we go. There we go. Now we can progress. Okay, so this area, if I do remember correctly, is one of those ones where you have to slay all the enemies. Which I actually normally like. Because you got like a number of how many you're slaying and you're left with a few at the end. And they always spawn on you when you, when you take them out. More spawn, which is good. I hope that's an event there. We haven't had an event yet. It's normally always an event. Well, that's not an event. Okay, so that's even better. This makes things a lot easier in regards to efficiency. Okay, so there's always that one straggler. There's always that one straggler. I mean, what are you doing there by yourself? Why can't you just group up with other ads? Oh, look at the damage that thing does. Boom! I ain't gonna touch ya. It's gonna stand here. Okay, so I'm gonna try and group up more enemies. Now, this is only the first part of this, if I remember rightly. There's normally a much, much larger area with way more enemies in, like this here. Slap. 
corpse explodes, I mean tendrils, then I think just dies. If I watch my health, because I've got to watch my health on this. The amount of times I've died because I've just been ignoring my health, and then I can just pop that if I need to, and then just destroy things. Which is the best thing about this. Like I said, I've got it set up right. My Paragon board, now I have to reset it. I've, I've specced into other boards. It isn't perfect, I'm not going to lie. I've still got so much to do. Like I said, I'm only a 66. I've got so much to do. It's a work in progress build. It's what we like. And considering I literally respect a couple levels back. We good. I mean, vulnerable. Nice. So you might as well follow me, lad. Any more ads around here? And there's definitely, definitely not as many ads in here as I do remember. This place used to be absolutely crammed full of elites. But I guess I don't think you're going to get dungeons like that anymore. Which is unfortunate, but hey. Gotta do what you gotta do. Now, uh, come on, stack, stack, damage, stack, damage, stack, damage, stack. There we go, it's what we like to see. And just blow shit up. Just blow shit up. Okay, so I've got one enemy remaining, and that was going to happen. And this is basically the end of this uh, dungeon. That's basically it. Now, I'm, I guess. Okay, we've got one more elite there. I guess. Uh, efficiency wise, it's actually quite quick. Oh, I'm, just, I'm obviously taking my time here. I'm taking my time here. But if you run this, well, you could run this super, super fast and reset it pretty quickly. And it gives decent XP, I'm not going to lie. If you look at my bar from where we were and where we started, it's not too bad. So yeah, it's actually not a bad XP farm. But hey, for those that wanted to see a live run through of this on a mediocre necromancer period and how long it will take, there we have it guys. Now the normal reset, leave dungeon, quit to main menu, uh, rejoin the game and enter the dungeon. There is a quicker way of doing it, but you need to run a nightmare dungeon halfway through. Well, complete the first objective. Once you've done that, back out, go to any other dungeon. Upon doing this, uh, you can just run the dungeon, come back out the door, go back in and it resets. But yes guys, there we have it alive, run at the haunted refuge. It's not too bad, it's definitely not the best I've seen. 100%, there's quite a few here I can name that are 100% better and quicker. Uh, but I'll have videos on my channel of those guys, so yes, check them out. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.